This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today we're going to install on the front of this car some hood scoops. Um, rather than protruding above, they're going to be sunken below. And one of the challenges is this is a curved surface, so it's difficult to sit on that curved surface. I can sit and define a datum plane on any of the other ones, but this is a radius, so it's difficult. So what we're going to do here is um, actually one of my students, um, she came up with the idea um, coming from the bottom rather than coming from the top. And I'm going to use her idea and just expand on it a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Extrude, Placement, and I'm going to sit on this surface here, this datum plane here. And then I'm going to do this, look at it from the top view, and I want to put somewhere in this neighborhood. So when I click on the line tool and start to draw, it's actually going to be down on the bottom surface down here. So draw my something along this line. Now you notice I've only got half the car done. Um, that's because um, we are going to do the um, mirroring later. So I'm going to actually undo that. I kind of screwed that up. I'd like it to be a little bit more symmetrical come across here, I'm going to come down to something like that and then join it back up. Uh, click the normal dimensions AB isometric view click OK and then I've got a solid protruding up through there. Now what I want to do is take that solid and I want to use it as a cutting tool. It would be nice if I could just drop it down that's kind of what I'm after but I, I can't so I'm going to use it as a cutting tool and I cut the hole out of there and click OK now you look through, you see the hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go extrude, placement. We're going to sit again on the same face. And we're going to bring it into the top view. This time we're going to hit the line tool again. And now what we're going to do is come in here. This is parametric, uh, Creo parametric. So you click the Alt and it'll, it will grab the um, line in the corner there. It makes it easier. You can come up and take this. And let's just go with... Um, no hidden line or I guess uh, would be better hidden line would be better and then this way we can see a little bit better so I'm going to click there come down here use the alt to grab the corner alt grab the corner oh, there it is come up here I'm gonna use the alt key again grab that corner and come up here and I'm going to finalize it and close it back to there click OK AB default orientation I'm going to go back now and change it to something I can see, spin it around this way, lower it down in, and now you can see that's kind of the effect I was looking for there. Now I could change that and, and change the slope, bring it up a little bit down in here and then go back down in here and, with the chamfer tool and change that chamfer a little bit more, but that's essentially what I'm looking for there. And I could of course come back here and then mirror image the car um, along this datum plane here. and. Uh, and get my full car and, and that's kind of the, the the what she was looking for. A B isometric view. Back to the thing. 